Hello lovely people, welcome back to the Ross TV. This is Dr. Fiorife here. Today we are talking about one of the medical board exam come see. This is an exam written in the Caribbean to gain license to practice as a medical doctor. We are going to go through the requirements, the process, the exam itself, the resources, the approach, and then the bad and good side of come see, right? I know a lot of my colleagues will be writing this exam soon, so I just hope this video helps you guys and good luck in your upcoming exam. It's the Ross TV. Come see, come in two forms. We have part one, which is the objective, and it is 600 USD. And the part two is 700 USD, and then that's an OSCE. And yeah, that is it. So, with the requirement, you are going to need a copy of your certificate or your letter of completion. You need two passport photographs, and then you need two references. These are the things required. You need to fill a form. And when you fill the form, it's basically about your name, if you've written this exam before, and where you would like to write the exam. It can indicate the amount on the form. When you're done, you go to DHL, and then you send this off to Jamaica. And the price for sending roughly for two persons was almost 100 USD. So they advise that a group of you come together and send it and just split the amount. Well, <laughs> that's the process of sending. When you send it and they get your information, they are going to create an account and then send you an email which have your ID and then have your password. So on the day of the exam, you're supposed to send that to you and key in to write the exam. They are going to send you 10 questions for 10 minutes for you to write to activate your account for the exam. Just so you know how the exam feels like. When you come to the exam itself, the exam is clinical. You really have to think before you pick the questions. So the exam is six hours. So you have three hours for the first part, then three hours for the next part, and you only have one hour break in between. Depending on the country you're writing from, they are going to send you a list of your exam center. But in Guyana, the exam center is in UG. And you have to take your identification card with you, your passport. They are going to email you all those things. Coming to the resources now, they have a curriculum. So I advise that you go to the curriculum and see what's expected. Basically, the curriculum you have feet, ups and gain. You also have community health. In surgery, it includes orthopedics. Per my experience, most of the questions are on feet and internal medicine. You have few surgery and then you have few ups and downs. That was the question I had. First, I would advise I go to the curriculum to see what you know and what you don't know, like your strength. For me, I wasn't good in P, so I tackled P most. Let me say I just learned P. There is a Camp C group on Telegram. Join it there, post questions there so that you try your knowledge to see if you understand what's going on or not and there are also explanations you read it and learn they also have a test book uh, it's a family medicine book i'm going to put the name it also has a list of questions now i don't know if it's the most appropriate test book for the comc board exam but it's a nice book it helped me to learn certain things that i didn't know yeah, that's the only benefit I would say and also help broaden my understanding. But it's not a question bank for you to do expecting question on the real exam. No, no, no. I didn't have any single question. I did all the <laughs> I did all the questions. <laughs> Don't read that book expecting to get the questions on the exam. No, it's just for you to learn and practice and gain understanding. But the number one thing that I would say is useful for this exam is the student recalls. So what I did was that with the student recalls, I went through the questions and I divided, I had a book, I divided it into four sections. So surgery, PEAT, IM, gyne, 
any question that I do, I look at the topic. So if it's MI, then I put under internal medicine. If it's surgery, I put it. So I listed the topics from the recall and I learned around those topics. So don't do those questions, put on your hope that this is going to come back. Yes, it did come back for some people, but to me, I don't know which computer I went to sit on. I can the questions that I had didn't even get to pen and the ones that I even got and the ones that I even got were conflicting. So if you are lucky enough to get some of the recalls, people did got more than 35 recalls. I listed those topics and then I learned around them. I watched videos from Kaplan. I read from first aid. So I read all around. I didn't really depend on the recall or but I went through it. It's a must for you to go through it and to know. And don't focus on those old old questions. I think they've stopped that line of questioning. Look at the recent questions and see how um if they are a little bit let me see difficult. I don't want to use the word difficult, but look at the recent records and see what is going on and go with the flow. But one thing I can say is that learn. I don't know about others, but for me, all I will say is that it's really, really easy to feel calm. So please learn and then do your best. Like, learn. I don't know whether to go through the topics or how I did it because this video will be so long. I don't know. But for the resources, you can contact me on Telegram, the run, and I'll forward the resources to you so that you can use it. The email I'm going to leave it below and then they are a new address because we almost sent our money that we do not have to the wrong address and we thank god for for helping us out with a good side of come see i love 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 the hours <laughs> like i'm one of the person who is very slow in objectives these hours were good for me at least i was able to go through my questions and be sure that these are the answers i wanted to choose unlike any exam i've ever written in my life this timing is good the bad side of comsi is that i feel like one we should start doing online registration and submission of forms and also if there's any way to send money through cards other than sending it through dhl because I don't know how safe that is, even though our money got there. But I just think we are growing and certain things could change. Also, the information about KMC is either you get to directly from them or in the group. I feel like it should be everywhere, like online, that people can access. Another downside is that I don't really think KMC really have this structure, structure to it. It has a curriculum, but no question bank to back it up the question bank that they have with the exam that i wrote they are behaving like a third degree heart block <laughs> so i just feel like if they have an exam structure to the curriculum that would be very nice because it also help us learn more because the exam is really clinical you really have to have experience to write it i think it would be really ideal if you write that exam whilst doing your practice because it will be much easier for you than you just finishing medical school but you can still do it just learn that's the thing you just have to learn 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 like you really have to do your best but here lies the case you still have to write it before you practice so where do we go from here Tell me, where do we go from here? So those are the things that I will say. But it's going to be a very beautiful exam because it did help me learn so many things that I didn't, I didn't learn in medical school nor clinical. So I would definitely recommend KMC to you. I think. Congratulations to everybody who passed this particular exam and those who didn't even pass. Congratulations because this exam wasn't just any. I don't know how to say it, but it was different. Thanks for watching and I wish you good luck in the exam. Right, I'll try and see if I can.